Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to add an admin dashboard to our Shopify app. It is very important when you vis when someone visit your app and they install it, it should have a good impression on them. That's why designing a nice admin dashboard is very important. So in this video, we are going to install Tailwind CSS and also using Tailwind, we will install a nice uh, admin dashboard here for the admin also. This video is sponsored to you by Cloudway. They are a great cloud hosting platform and it makes your application deployment a lot easy. If you don't like system administration work and you want one click solution to deploying your next PHP application, then Cloudway is going to be the best choice. It is so easy like just sim simply select your application either that is WordPress, Drupal or Laravel. Then you select your server, DigitalOcean, they support a lot of servers like Amazon, Google and then you will select the size and you can deploy it. Later you can monitor it, you can scale it easily just one click. So that's it. Now let's go back to our Laravel app. So let's start. If I come to the documentation of Tailwind CSS, you might ask why you are not using Bootstrap or any other uh, CSS framework that you already used. The thing is like I have to challenge you to learn a new like library or a framework. That's why I want to use Tailwind. It is nice. It is very really easy to use also. That's why I, I don't want to write a lot of CSS. All I have to do is just write your classes here. That is how Tailwind CSS is going to work. This is not a Tailwind CSS course, but they have some screencasts in their website. You can watch them and you can learn more about this one. But it is easy to use. Anyway, so if I come to getting a start, all you have to do is install it using npm or yarn. In this video, I'm going to use your npm. Let's do npm. It doesn't matter because if you have npm, you can using npm, you can install yarn. But if you have yarn, you will still require npm. That's why you if you have npm, all you have to do is that's fine. And if you open terminal in the app here, as you can see, this is the only code currently showing. So it is very important for you to know where you place your assets also. I will come here and install the Tailwind CSS. As it is installing Tailwind CSS, you can check out this directory. It does not have a node module folder. So it should create a node module folder, plus it should install some other packages like Axios, Cross ENV, Laravel Mix, and Lodash, and the rest of it. The thing is like package.json come by default with Laravel, that's why it is going to install all those packages. If it doesn't install for you, you have to run npm install. Now node module is here. If you check it out, now it should have all the packages we need. Now the thing is, it is very easy in Laravel to use. So all you have to do is just the npm run watch. It is going to use Laravel mix to compile all your assets. And currently, since this is a new project, it is going to install view compiler and some other uh, dependencies also so it will take some time now as you can see it is installing other packages compile everything successfully and now you should have uh, two files in your public directory the css which is the app.css as well as the app.js now the css should be completely empty because we don't have any css if you are new to laravel of course these things will not be easy for you to understand but if you know laravel it is easy here, here are our assets and this is our CSS. Now how you import your Tailwind CSS? If you come here, they have different options. Since they have a Laravel mix here, we'll directly go there. If I come here, they are going to tell you, you have to use the post CSS and alternatively you can use less. It is going to work. But for SAS, which is the default one, there is an issue. You have to use the CS, like process CSS URL as a false, then it will work. I'm not going to deal with that. So all I have to do is I will use this technique, which is a lot easy. Now you have to come to webpack.mix here and replace this one with SAS. I'm going to remove the mix also. It is going to use the post CSS and it is going to require Tailwind CSS also. So it should work just fine. Now what it is going to do is, it's going to search for a CSS file. I don't have to worry about this one because we are going to import CSS file. Now all I have to do is come to the source directory. I will rename this folder to CSS. And as you can see, it gave me an error because it is watching. So I will stop the watch because it is throwing some error. Now instead of the app, I will say app.css, which is fine for me. Now instead of main, I will say app. 
it is going to look for that directory and it will compile it in this directory now let me come to the configuration here and this you have to import it here i don't have to import it here because i require it let's run it again and see if it is working if it doesn't i will fix the issue for you and you will see in a second yes you have a issue in your app if i come here in my app the css in the resource this is the error because you know in css you cannot comment something like this it should be sas that works yeah it works fine now all i have to do is import the tailwind how you are going to import it if you scroll up again in the installation this is how you are going to import it right so if i copy this one come here import it yep everything looks fine i will save it it should compile it yes it did it everything was successful now if i check the public directory the css here you go it is the tailwind css currently the file size is very large so in the future video i will show you how you can optimize it also if i come to my app here i have installed the app in another uh, domain here so this is another store i have created the reason for this is because i want to test the app in different stores so make sure it is going to be fine and that's how you can make progress with your app once you deploy to production in shopify store it is going to be installed in many stores so make sure you are prepared for that it is not going to cause any issue if you see any issue in your development store you might see those issues in live also now all i have to do is adding the dashboard here the dashboard is very important now i will close everything so far everything is fine right and we have these assets and we have the resources and everything is fine now if i open the resources view and welcome.lit.php this is our text where we add our assets if you know if you are familiar with laravel you know we have a master template mostly it is in the view directory but here it says shopify app layout default it is not around here it is an asset that come by the app so you have to generate that one now to generate that you should come to the shopify like the laravel shopify documentation and run this command this is what they recommend now if i run this command i might get some error so i will open another terminal here this time i will run it it says yes it was published successfully but still i don't have my file here now the other way around is like this i am going to fix it for you i know why it is happening now you just run the publish and from the list it is going to tell you which one you want to publish now from here you can start from here check it out shopify view if you can use the back like top arrow and down arrow to navigate between them and if i say shopify views and press enter now it did create a file for me called vendor this is how you can fix it okay just run your php artisan vendor publish do not pass any flag or any tag to that and then from the drop down just select the shopify views now it did create the view in this directory now you can modify any of them for example the auth one is related to authentication the billing is related to billing and if someone is going to pay you so what i'm interested in here is let's open the welcome again is layout dot default so if i come to the vendor layouts then default this is the master template for us and i have to uh, link my css here so how you are going to link it just use link here and in this comment here uh, for the url uh, as you know we are going to use the asset url function it is going to take the file name and it is going to give us the name for us so the asset url is going to be the public directory it should be css slash app dot css now if i save it for now let's see if this is working or not so i have to make sure it is working if i come to my app here i should have like another css if i did add it successfully as you can see i get an error which comes from here i think asset url is related to shopify it was another thing in in um, laravel so i will find it now 
if you come to the laravel documentation you search for the asset as you can see it is asset not the asset url so i will come here and i will remove the rest of it and i will say oops instead of the asset url just use the asset so if you save it now asset is going to accept two parameters the second parameter also as the optional which is the secure or non-secure one if i refresh it if i refresh my app here this time it should work just fine yes it did apply some design to this one if it did apply those design it means we have installed successfully the Telvin CSS now the good thing about Telvin CSS is they have some predefined components also if you come to the component section of the framework it has like small little components like button but there is something else called uh, tailwindui.com which is which has a lot of like ui components as you can see in here but most of them are not free um if you buy it it's worth buying because they have put a lot of time on that one i'm not advertising them anyway if i come to explore preview and browse the free samples you can use the free samples here is what we are going to use the dashboard which is nicely designed so i will customize it behind the scene and i'm going to use one of these if i scroll down there was another one which was nice which is this one yeah so i'm going to use this one if you click the code one you will have access to all the codes so i will copy this one and coming to my app which is the welcome and in the welcome view instead of this one i am going to paste my dashboard now it is a nav bar i might clean it up in the next videos but i will do it behind the scene because this this stuff is easy so i will show you what i did but for now i will put it there and i will save it now let's come to my app refresh it again if we have added tailwind css it is working fine it is very cool it is working just fine also if you check it out it is going to require a js and from what i see it require alpine js which is a nice choice free framework but we can do it using view i don't need to have like profile all i have to do is just having a drop down which should be easy for us to do so that's it and i'm going to customize this admin behind the scene to make it look nicer and in the next video we will continue developing and we will see how we can modify themes and add more setting uh, accessing apis and more stuff so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching i will see